Look, Yaya, we are orbiting in the low Earth orbit. It takes only 90 minutes to go around the world. Cool! Isn't that Singapore? Wait, can we slow down a little? This satellite is orbiting at an altitude of 400 kilometers, barely above the atmosphere of the Earth. Being at a low altitude has its advantages. If nothing else, it takes less rocket fuel to bring us up here. Being close to the surface, we can provide high-resolution images of the Earth, which is good for surveillance applications. For communication applications, we have the advantage of clearer antenna signals and shorter delay time for signal transmission. Unlike a geostationary satellite, we are not confined to an equatorial orbit, so we can orbit with an inclination to the equator to bring us to high latitude regions. In fact, if we choose an angle of inclination of 90 degrees, we get the polar orbit, which allows us to pass directly over the north and south poles. Thanks to the Earth's rotation, we will pass over the equator at a different longitude from the earlier orbit. So a single polar satellite can map the entire Earth over time. The one inconvenience about low Earth orbits is that a LEO satellite cannot provide coverage of any location continuously. It's not geostationary, it's always on the go. Even when it passes directly over a location, thanks to its low altitude, it maintains line of sight with the location for 10 minutes or so only. Because of the Earth's rotation, the next time the satellite passes directly over the same location, maybe a few days later. For continuous global coverage, a constellation of LEO satellites are required. Wow, it's rather crowded up there. Actually, many of them are no longer operational. They are just space junk orbiting around. Somebody should put up those no littering signs.